Julianne, you have a 12-year-old daughter. Yeah, yeah, Are you I winning do. major cool points for being in this movie? Oh, my God. And a, and a son who's about to be 17. So he was the one who first read the books, actually. I bought him the, the third volume. I bought him Mockingjay in the bookstore. I'm like, I came home, honey, here's that you know book from the series you like. Because <laughs> he was young at the time. You just want to encourage them to read what they love. And he adored it and was online for the first midnight show of Hunger Games in New York City. Mm. And then when my daughter read the books a few years ago, she was 10 when she started reading, I actually picked up her copy because we were on vacation and they were playing ping pong and I had nothing to read. <laughs> so I picked it up and I, I was like, these are amazing. I just tore through them. And then I called my manager to see who was playing coin. And that's how it happened, I swear to God. <laughs> wow. Cool. <gasps> yeah. And Willow, you're a few months away from turning 15. So yeah. you're approaching the age that Katniss is in the first book. Mm -hmm. Do you find that as the years have gone by that these movies are speaking to you personally more yeah. and more? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think it's cool to have grown alongside my character because I feel like as Prim has grown up, she's gotten stronger, like more like Katniss. And, and I feel like I've gotten stronger as a person too. So like to grow alongside my character has been really fun. And I think that, you know, I think Prim is kind of following in Katniss's footsteps just in a, in a little bit of a different way, which is cool. And Sam, we talked about this earlier today, but Finnick is a very different guy in this movie than he was the last time. Like the mm. sheen is gone. He's a, he's a damaged dude. What, what was it like for you to, to play him in this different realm? Um, I think the way that I, the best example of like Finnick and his sort of journey, I guess, is, is he's very similar to Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> but in a sense, in front of the cameras, like in, in public, he's a very, he, he is a character. He puts up a front, puts up a guard, you know, really allows himself to become someone completely different. But behind closed doors, he's damaged. He's vulnerable, sensitive, broken, in a sense. And I think, not that I kind of, you know, watched every Marilyn Monroe film in the world, but... Uh, <laughs> That, that definitely was something, you know, some inspiration to me, I guess. Um, that's incredible. So I think <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's true. I can't believe you coming out your mouth right now. But, um, you know, I think, I think <laughs> it really, it did really inform me uh, as to, like, what, what he would be like. And I guess this time around, you know, it is a very, very different approach to a character. But it's nice to be able to have the opportunity to show both sides of the coin, you know. Um, Wait, coin, present. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, exactly. Donald, there's one great line that you have at a very pivotal moment, and it's so succinct, and you're just ruminating, and you say, referring to Katniss and what she's up to, moves and counter moves. In a way, I think that one line sums up the entire relationship between the two of you. What do you enjoy about the dynamic and playing it? Uh, well, I mean, that's, that's a chess game, and, and certainly with Katniss, uh, she's not actually playing chess, but um, she's making moves, and I'm playing chess with her. But um, it certainly doesn't define their relationship. It defines the activity of their relationship, but their relationship is one of someone who, at the end of his life, has been made aware of a particular kind of genius in the sense of Joan of Arc or Jesus Christ or whomever, you know. It, it, uh, Shaw wrote about it in his preface to St. John. Um, and to have this, it's very difficult to let it go. I mean, he has to destroy her, and he will, but, uh, but it's very difficult. 